Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video is a dressing room slash walk-in wardrobe room progress situation. So this is the box room that I'm stood in. We have obviously, well, I've shown you I've shown you the paint before and you've seen this sort of as an empty room. If I just stand by the window, I'll give you a little overview of what's going on right now. Obviously there's been bags of clothes and uh, I've just been on rotate of these sorts of <laughs> outfits. We've got our laundry basket and I've got my old rail from home. Now in this video, we are gonna try and put together as much of a walk-in wardrobe dressing room as we can. So what you're seeing now is all actually from B&Q. My dad and I built this together, so thanks dad. So what we did was we went, I picked out what I wanted, like the shelving, so I could put shoes and bags on there, and then we just picked up, I think we got two long poles and then cut them to size and attached those to the wall and then to the chest of drawers, well, sorry, not chest of drawers, to the shelving unit, which we actually attached to the wall. We got some extra wood just because the floor in this house isn't quite straight or flat. So sometimes just for just to avoid injury later on we decided to attach it to the wall so here is what it looks like as an overview and if you're going to do this yourself make sure you measure everything measure twice cut once and of course test the hangers make sure before you put the poles on the walls make sure that the hangers fit sideways and they don't you know knock against the wall or if they actually don't even fit so it is the next day and look what arrived last night. And maybe, well, it arrived at about seven. That was like a delivery truck. And we were like, that can't be ours. It was, and me being me, I was like, I'm gonna build it now. No quiet relaxing night in front of the telly. No, nope, I'm gonna build the drawers. So, yay. Ignore everything else, <laughs> move that. These are the drawers we went for. These are from Argos. And yeah, we just went for these because obviously this wood matches that wood. And uh, it's the perfect size, literally, to fit in that little gap. And uh, the perfect size for storage that we wanted. So super happy with those. So where we're at right now, don't know where that stool's going, somewhere in here, is this. <laughs> so it's also become a bit of a space where we're just putting things we don't know where to put like these cushions that we that came with the sofa that we don't like we'll probably change the cushion covers but they're just in here for now we need to sort out bottoms storage so for example like not storage hangers I don't have any clippy hangers for my skirts and stuff and Tom's most of Tom's clothes actually fit in at the chest of drawers in the bedroom but he's got some shirts and other bits that need hanging up also, those are Rupert's stairs. They're not staying in here. They're just here for now. Laundry basket is not staying there, etc., etc. Um, but obviously, I have popped some of my clothes up, and as you can see, Tom's stuff can go on the well, skirts and Tom's stuff can go here. As I said, you know, I offered up as much space as you know, Tom. What I said to Tom, you can do whatever you like. He could have this entire thing, but he just has, you know, his few coats and his few things which are kept in here, in the bedroom. So please don't think that I've taken up all the space. <laughs> so I have put some of my dresses up here and then obviously we will pop like shoes and bags and stuff on this, which I just think, oh, I love it, I can't wait. See, I've got tops and jumpers and stuff and then bottoms and Tom's stuff will go down there. Then I think this one will be for coats and that will go along there, maybe put some hats on the wall. I don't know if we're gonna get a standing mirror anymore just because of, I don't know, don't know if we need one, but we might get a leaning, maybe like a 
a curved one there maybe but that is the update for now i did get some um wood colored ones because i just thought though those are from tesco i just thought those would look nice on this one so it matches again and it just look nice with the contrasting white but things are coming together so all good all good and i'm gonna carry on A lot of progress has been made in the last few days, which I'm really happy about. And uh, okay, so I'll just do a little overview of how it is right now. There are a lot of spare hangers. <laughs> the problem is, is that I did like a bulk job lot order from Amazon for the different types. So we have some left over, but that's not really a problem because I'm sure they'll come in handy. So well, actually I'll start here. So these are obviously the drawers that you've seen. This vase is from Ikea and I'm just waiting on some either pampas or bunny tails to go in there. I've put my little jewellery down there. And then we have this mirror which is from B&M. Now B&M have been doing these circle mirrors. This one is about 40 in diameter and the other ones I have are about 80 in diameter. So. This one is perfect for this room. I've done a little bit of organising. See, these top drawers are very stiff, but I don't know if we're leaving it like this. So I've got my hats and berets in there. I've got some like Disney ears. I've got my um, spray and release, the crease releaser. I've got an umbrella or two. This bag, not sure where that's going. And as I've mentioned, I'm gonna put some hats on a wall. Hope, hope maybe up here maybe up here and then in this drawer I've got gym and swim stuff and then stage my stage shoes jazz shoes and stuff like that unfortunately we can't do any shows right now very sad and bottom drawer is kind of miscellaneous um, for now so I'm not gonna open that. <laughs> also I will keep reiterating Tom's stuff is gonna come in here he just doesn't have as much as I do which is fine um I think he's got maybe four coats to add on here and then where the where I put my skirts he'll have his other tops and shirts because at the moment all his jeans all his tops all his shirts jackets and stuff are in the chest of drawers in the bedroom. I have already said this, but I just worry that people are gonna think that I'm not letting, like, I don't know, I'm being silly, but all of his stuff is in here because um, he just would prefer it like that. And then obviously we've got the big mirror, the big version of what I've just shown you. So as you come in, I love this bit. So this ladder shelf was actually in the office, but I decided to display some of my bags on here and then down here that's the laundry basket and then down here i've popped my little faux fur footstool and a little rattan lantern because i thought that looked nice in here you saw me hang up the skirts they're a little bit too long but that's fine and then got some tops and then knitwear over here and then on that side are dresses and then we've got the mess that i've sort of pushed into the corner and then which we'll sort out another time and then i've got the little rug and then you've seen this but the shoes i have popped on display did a big clear out i've got my wellies and walking boots behind the skirts but they'll probably live downstairs somewhere when it gets a bit more muddier because obviously we live amongst fields so up some of my other bags up there hung that one there and then my dresses so there is the little overview of how we're doing. So the next job is to, so I've got this basket and it's actually, oh, it's the wrong way around. It's actually a under bed basket. Um, it's actually too deep for our bed, but it was never supposed to go under the bed anyway. This is for kind of like winter accessories, but obviously not hats because i've shown you that in there hello <laughs> but in here is going to go um scarves and faux fur and stuff like that because currently this is the sort of dump corner where they i don't i don't know where they're going the subs bench so in this box is like 
decor, like decorative items that have just been popped in here. Oh, okay. Right. Excellent news. Um, that is one of the cushions from our sofa that came with it that we are going to change the cushion cover of. And I've just got my record player and some records there. Um, but all of these scarves and faux fur are behind there. So we are going to organise that. This was going to slot in there, but it's too wide. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't really want it just out. Well, I don't know. It's a nice basket. But it's just annoying that it's it's it can't go where I'd planned it to. Have you got an itch? Have you got an itch? Why you um excuse me <laughs> Everything's his apparently. And I am I may be one of those people that displays their um Gucci box. Who knows? What are you doing up there? Hey? Righty, so let's get let's get putting things away. Hello. <laughs> Hello. under that dress. <laughs> Rupert, this is not a good look for you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, you're so cute, what are you doing? Hey? So what I'm thinking is I might put it in this way. So it'll slot under and just be out here. I don't mind that too much. But one of my shoes, I've just realised, has fallen down because it was being held up by a scarf. Because um, I had one too many pairs to um, go on here because they fit three comfortably. This one needed four, so, hmm. Um, excuse me, what are you doing? You're on your body? Rupert has to have these tiny tennis balls because they're the only ones that fit. Anyway, I digress. Right, come on. Come on, you. Hey. <laughs> we'll just take it back there again. Right, so let's try and pop this in the corner. I don't like it. <laughs> the lilac dress is too long anyway. Oh, I really don't know where else I can put it because it's really quite tall. Because I was going to say, oh, I can just slot it under there, but it's too tall. <laughs> and again, the um, skirts are too long. Oh man, why are you so big? Why are you so big? So, solution at this moment is to put it long ways and have it like this. I can, I can envisage like a plant pot and some pampas, but then it's going to be in the way. <clears throat> Rupert's obsessed with it, absolutely obsessed. Um, oh, it's just annoying that it doesn't act, it won't slide under anything. Um, I'm still after some, oh, I said that a minute ago, didn't I? Still after some pampas or bunny tails or something to go in there. But yeah, I think for now, this is fine, but just not, well, it's just not what I pictured. But it's okay, isn't it? It's okay. <laughs> oh, what do you think, guys?
as you just saw me hanging up my hats, I just used command hooks and it was so easy. I decided to just film it in silence because I was like, if I'm talking, it's gonna go wrong. So here is the finished hat display. Really, really pleased with that. So that's filled up that wall nicely. Oh, also, Pampas, my Pampas came. Just got that off Amazon and I've just popped a candlestick and a little ring holder there. I've popped one of these like, what do we call them? It's like a egg roll, not an egg roll. A dumpling, it's like a dumpling bag, that's from Primark. And my jewelry's still there. The mirror, my big basket bag is still down there. Added a few more coats bags are there you've seen all this tom's stuff by the way guys is actually here we just need to hang it up <laughs> but this is the dressing room and that basket box is still staying there this by the way is a pack of more white hangers for all of tom's stuff so i can get hanging i'm just gonna wash some of tom's stuff because his stuff's been in storage so but as i said probably a thousand times in this video the majority of his clothes are in the chest of drawers in our bedroom. Here are just going to be like um, shirts and if he's got suit jackets and stuff like that. So that's going to go there and then obviously you can see we've got some spare hangers for more coats if we add to our collection. And uh, yeah, this is the dressing room as of right now. I just think we could do with some maybe artwork on the walls um just to fill the space and perhaps something up there there and maybe something here as well let me know what you think and i'm just so proud of us that we've done this ourselves so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed seeing the process and uh, i'll see you in my next video